At 610, it is April Fool's Day, but don't get tricked by bad roofing companies. Yeah, the experts at Angie's List say that when you aren't the only one needing work done, you could fall victim to a shady contractor. When Mother Nature turns wild, it's not uncommon for whole neighborhoods to need roof repair or replacement. That surge in demand can be great for contractors, but it's also great for folks who see a chance to make a fast buck by cheating customers. It's an unfortunate reality of the business. Scam one is the contractor who insists on getting paid before the work begins, wants a large down payment, or needs an insurance check to buy materials. Avoid this scam by hiring a local company with proper credentials, bonding, insurance, and a good reputation. Never pay in full up front. These, these scam artist contractors will say, hey, all we need is we need that first check. You give that to us. We'll get you scheduled to go. And then in the worst cases, they just disappear. Scam 2 involves a door-to-door -door sales pitch. This friendly stranger will offer quick, cheap labor for cash on the spot. Some may do little shoddy work before they disappear. Just say no thanks to this scam. Remember, good roofers are busy already and don't have to solicit. Unfortunately, there might be scammers that come into town after a storm. So be sure that you're checking with the company you're using that they have a valid license, they have insurance, so that you know you're working with a reputable company. Scam 3 is the too-good-to-be-true low bid. These great deals almost always come with up charges. In the worst cases, contractors will remove your existing roof before demanding more money. Avoid this by getting at least three bids, checking them against the Angie's List pricing guide. You want an apples-to-apples -apples estimate, so make sure you know exactly what type of material your roof is made of. Is it an asphalt shingle roof? Is it a tile roof? Also, you're going to need the full dimensions of your roof in order to get an accurate estimate. Now, if you have major damage, don't be in a rush to fix it and hire the first person available. That's right. You want to do your research. Missouri is one of 11 states that don't require a roofing license.